www.honolulu.com. Well, back on Oahu, changes are happening at the Honolulu Zoo with a new market offering Ono food. I like the sound of that, Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the scene with a preview. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. And you know what? That big cat story should make its way over here to the Honolulu Zoo to this beautiful space that we call the Kapahulu Market. And here joining us on take two is our friend Russ Murakami, who is a regional vice president of the Pacific SSA Group. Good morning, Aloha. Hi, good morning. Thanks uh, for joining us here on take two. This is such a cool, great spot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've been here since 2007, and I'm very excited about our new cafe. And not only are we celebrating this new space, but you're celebrating something personally. You give a quick shout out oh, sure uh, today is actually on my anniversary hey. uh, so Tammy happy anniversary and Dallas I wanted to make sure I tell you that she said you're her favorite reporter oh man um, well, you guys are my so, favorite yeah. already congratulations <laughs> thank you, and thank we know you. Tammy's watching yes. happy anniversary Tammy and Russ from the wake up today crew awesome thank you now as far as this space goes there's some there's something really great tied to it and that's the message of carbon awareness Yes, uh, you know, the carbon's a big, uh, been out in the news quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and so our company's based out of Denver and it's very important to us. Our corporate office is actually carbon neutral. And so all of our locations nationwide, we're trying to bring them aware for carbon awareness. All right, good message there. And something I noticed too, is we got some basil, some rosemary, and even some eggplants growing out here. Do you all actually use this for the, the market? Some of it, uh, you know, <laughs> we have to actually... Uh, watch wow. it every now and then it gets uh, harvested by uh many hoonies at night <laughs> uh oh <laughs> gotta keep the eyes on that <laughs> yeah. and as far as the menu goes we have a great variety right here also some really cute souvenirs that you'll exclusively find here at the honolulu zoo water bottles shirts and all that good stuff but taking a look over here what is it that really people can grab when they're checking out all the different animals out here uh one of the most famous things are the uh, Bami, which is a Tyndall base, huh? and then that's made out of soybean and wheat. Oh. And you'll get to try some on the second segment of Ooh. today. So okay, I'm excited for that. Well, before that, we're we're a little parched because it is actually it's a beautiful day. Wouldn't you say say so, Shelby? Yeah, it's I'd not too hot, huh? No, not too hot. It's really beautiful outside today. Yeah, we just had a little bit of showers just passed by, a rainbow that came through, and now we're gonna build some dirty sodas. So this sounds pretty interesting. What is a dirty soda? So a dirty soda is basically a soda with a bunch of different kinds of syrup in it. Okay. So it's not just a plain soda, just everyone, every drinks it. It's a little something special with a little additional flavor. And how many different dirty sodas do you have? So we have three different dirty sodas. So we have our Malibu, which is more a uh, creamy rich soda. Um, it's Dr. Pepper, coconut, and half and half with cream. Mm -hmm. And then we have our Hula Girl, which is our most popular drink out here, which is kind of tastes like a Starburst. It's uh, strawberry and coconut. And then the one we're making right now, which this one right here is called our Pretty in Pink. And it's probably the one that Ooh. we put the most work into with the best flavor in my opinion which is the sweetest would you say so I would say the sweetest one is our hula girl it kind of mm -hmm. tastes like a pink starburst I think it's pretty good and then I'm just taking over I'm sorry am oh, I doing this right yes. yeah you're doing <laughs> it just fine all right awesome I figure you know you work all day I might as well treat you right oh of course thank you for treating me today mm -hmm. <laughs> and how cool is it to just be a part of the Kapahulu market are you happy that it's here I am so excited that it's here because we've got this great space to work with and great ideas and great standards to go from here what would you say is the best food item to try Oh, I think my favorite would probably be the Mochico chicken. Um, mm. Our chef makes it all fresh. When he first made it, oh, everybody loved it. <laughs> I know. That's what's kind of fun about working at this place. You get to try everything. Yeah, everything. <laughs> all the time. Everything the chef makes, it's so good. All right, well, let's try this dirty soda together. Now, this is no alcohol, right? No alcohol. Okay, cool. Let's be clear on that. <laughs> it's too early anyways. Cheers to the dirty soda. Cheers. Mmm, refreshing, delicious. Thank you so much, Shelby, for sharing. Thank you. And in the next half hour, we're going to be going inside the chick uh, chicken, the kitchen, <laughs> to check out the different entrees. But, of course, if you want some more details about the new Kapahulu Market here at the Honolulu Zoo, you can check our website at kh12.com. Reporting over here at the scene, Dallas Anabaros, K 2 News, working for Hawaii. See, now Dallas has mochiko chicken stuck on his it, mind. That's exactly. why I said that.
because once she said it, I was like, ooh, mochico chicken? I that know. sounds so good right now. <laughs> Even Pretty that drink. Pink. Pretty in pink or hula girl. Mm, mm. All of it. Yep. All right, coming up next, it's a new direction for our tour tourism industry, balancing business while respecting the land and culture. Find out how it's impacting the Garden Isle and the Kauai Museum when Take Two returns.